Number one, drawn six, Hawker's News at 7.8 to 1, ridden by Michael Kinane, is uh, combined in the betting with this opening show with River Wacky, ridden by Eric Saint Martin. They're drawn three. Drawn 13, Cicereo, 7.7 7 to 1, Walter Swinburne. At the two, Strategic Choice, 41.4 to 1, Richard Quinn. Drawn 10, Celtic Arms, 5.7 to 1, Gerald Mossy. And Shanghai Venture is drawn four, 55.9 to 1, with Wendell Woods. Bataillon, drawn five, is 5.5 .5 to 1, Olivier Pestier. And combined in the betting, both Boxcard and Solid Illusion at 10.5 to 1. Boxcard, the pacemaker, is written by Bruno Marchand, and Solid Illusion, blinkered for the first time, by Alan Bedell. Al Riffer is drawn 14 at 7 to 1, written by John Reed. Bahamian Sunshine, 15.9 to 1, drawn 11, written by Pat Eddery. Drawn 15, Fanny on Defet, 31.6 to 1, Sebastian Mayo. Drawn 12, Tikkanen, 11.4 to 1, by Cash Asmussen. From 8, Percuton, 7.8 to 1, Guy Guignard. And the favourite from the nine stall is Moonlight Dance at 3.9 to 1, and she is written by Terry Jeanne. They're under starters' orders, and they race away. A little bit slow to go was uh, Shanghai Venture. He just dwells astride in the stalls, and the pace in the race should come from Boxcard, set to put the pace to Solid Illusion. And with the noseband, it's Boxcard going on. Boxcard has the lead from on the inside in the yellow colour, Strategic Choice racing prominently. On the outside, Cicerea, Bahamian Sunshine in a good place. Uh, Hawker's News is taking quite a keen hold early on. And uh, one of the back markers is Bataillon, and also Fanny on defect, and also uh, towards the rear at this very early stage is Celtic Arms. But they're through the first quarter mile, and it's Boxcard leading with the noseband. The yellow colours the rail is strategic choice. Cicerea behind these. Bahamian Sunshine, our riffer is out wide. Through on the inside is River Wacky, and with that one is Hawker's News. Moonlight Dance holds a good position. Uh, down the pack is Bataille, and also towards the rear is Solid Illusion. Fanny on Defet, uh, De Canon is towards the rear. Per Couton is uh, towards the rear too, and still last is Celtic Arms. But up front, it's Boxcard who leads by length. To strategic choice running the rail, Cicereo in third, the dark blue colours of Moonlight Dance are showing in fourth place. Just in behind these comes El Riffa on the outside with Bahamian Sunshine. But up front, little change as they head down towards a halfway stage. It's Boxcard leading by length to strategic choice in second, Cicereo going third, Bahamian Sunshine in the green colours four. Blue Jacket, Moonlight Dance 5, and then behind that one is River Rack Wacky, and the back marker is Fanny on Defet, and they begin the turn out of the back straight. It's Boxcard who still just has the edge to strategic choice in second. Cicero, the red colours in third place. Bahamian Sunshine wide of Bataillon, running the rail is River Wacky. Wide of these as they start the turn in is Al Riffer on the outside of Moonlight Dance at the top of the home run now, and Boxcard joined on the inside by strategic choice and as they head for home strategic choice the inside of box guard here in the red colors comes cicereo bahamian sunshine with a run moonlight dance wide still in the black sleeves is al riffer on the extreme outside is hawker's news and they're inside the final quarter mile now and it's cicereo underwater swimburn going for home strategic choice runs the rail here comes pet kutong with a run on the outside al riffer widest of all with a run celtic arms they're inside the final furlong now and it's celtic arms in the green colors down the centre of the track who takes the call now from Solid Illusion who's finishing very fast next to the rails up towards the line Celtic Arms Solid Illusion at the line Celtic Arms just takes it from Solid Illusion in second through to third was Al Riffer and a mighty run from him and then behind these came Tikkanen and behind Tikkanen strategic choice and after strategic choice was Cicereo and so the result then of this the French derby it's a win for number five Celtic Arms in the colours of Mr J.L. Bouchard trained by Pascal Barry ridden by Gerard Mosse, and he came with a late sweep from last to first, threw on the inside, solid illusion, the horse with the bandaged forelegs, may have been a bit unlucky in running, I saw him just had to snatch up a little bit, the yellow colours, what a race, strategic choice has run, but here on the right of the picture comes Celtic Arms, Gerard Mosse in the green jacket, who's come from last to first to take the French derby in the dying strides, and as they hit the line, boy, isn't he pleased. The ninth Lupin winner since 1960 to win the French Derby. Hernando last year, and you go back to the early 60s, La Fabula, Wright Royal in Charlottesville, pays six francs 30. That includes your one franc stake for the win. Two francs 70 for the place. Solid Illusion, four francs 20. Al Reefer, three francs. And the forecast, 41 francs.